Hi, Dyslexic Genius here, Brad Hurt. My phone number is 864-236-1680, or you can email me at dyslexicgeniusher at gmail.com. I'm going to show you something that comes up on governors and governor barons on a very rare occasion, but it does happen. The governor will run without the little ball bearing, but not run very well. And you need to always check to make sure the little ball bearing's in there. And I'll show you. We have two bearings right here. And if you, my sweet angel can focus, on the bottom one there's a little ball bearing. You can see that little ball bearing, but this top one right here isn't. So when you hook it onto the uh, governor, you see the gap between the end of the bearing and the flywheel of the governor? Short gap. Oh, I have a bigger gap. That means the ball bearing is in this, in here. You need to check for this. This happens once in a while. They just kind of fall out. They go away. You know, this one did, was missing when I pulled it apart. And I wanted to show you this at the last bit of working on this Victor 14 motor. The other thing is, I'm going to show you one other thing about, about this. On a Victor machine, the rear of the governor here with the gear has the bearing with a notch in it. And when you set the spacing on them, you set the spacing with a front bearing right here. And this is the one you move in and out to adjust the play on the governor. So where that bearing goes into the casting, you want to make sure that bearing slides in and out easily so you can adjust that little bit of play in the governor so it'll run. When I pull the motor apart, I noticed that the governor was sitting very tightly. And when I pulled it out, I looked at the bearings and I said, whoop, we're missing a ball bearing. It'll run, but it's not going to run well and smooth. I just wanted to point this out, and that's my tip for the day.